welcome to the Glass Tower Top 5. It's the week of February 22nd, 2018. I'm Rainy Knudsen. I'm Christina Reese. We are counting down the top five art events in Texas this week. Yes, we are in Dallas. We were at the Power Station. We featured the show that's here now on the January 25th okay. edition of the Top 5. Uh, this is Yuji Agamatsu. Lovely show. It's up until, it is up until March 3rd. These things are so cool. Yeah, they are cool. Number five is called Fold, contemporary work by 13 female artists. These are, this is one show, but it's happening at three venues down in the Valley in McAllen and Edinburgh. It's uh, been organized by the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. Two of the venues are there, and the other one is the uh, International Museum of Art and Science. So it explores the concepts of the fold in terms of uh, form and conceptual metaphor. So, and you're going, you and Brandon are going down to the valley. We are. We're going to be down there in art um, hunting in the valley. May. Fun. Yeah, mid May. All right, so. Valley. If you have anything you want us to see, let us know. Yeah. Number four this week is Celia Eberly at Chris Worley's gallery in Dallas. It's called Unintended Garden. Now, uh, so this is a new show of new works. However, down in Houston during the Tensile Strength show in the silos, mm -hmm. there, she had one in the silos and the, she had a moss grotto inside. And that's one of the centerpieces of this show. Yes. Uh, we love Celia. Her work is consistently wonderful. She's one of, she was one of our top 10 artists in Texas. Absolutely. And this show, which goes along with the, her themes, how we simultaneously worship and destroy Mother Nature. So there will be a lot of wonderful carved objects and some bigger set pieces. And uh, that opens on Saturday. So number three at Nicole Longnecker Gallery in Houston is two shows, Kevin Cole, Dancy with Color, Dance I apostrophe with Color, mm. and then George Smith. Uh, I'm less familiar with Kevin Cole. He's an Atlanta-based artist. I think he's in his 50s. Wall constructions, colorful, cartoonish, rippling, not quite abstract. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing them. They look really good. And then George Smith, of course, iconic, beloved Houston artist, abstract artist, fully committed to abstraction. Um, who's done over the years monumental steel sculptures and all kinds of things. These are going to be smaller pieces, I think, some paintings, some wall works. Last I saw George Smith, though, was in the big show in Houston, and he had a dog wall sculpture that was like the most charming thing ever. So mm. I love his work. I'm very much looking forward to this pairing. I think it should be a good show, and it's up through March 31st, opening this weekend. So number two this week is in San Antonio. It's at the San Antonio Museum of Art. This is part of the big year-long tricentennial celebration. This one is 1718, art from Vice Regal, Mexico. Big, big, big show. show. They've brought in 100 works from some of the most important collections in Mexico. It's about the colonial days of the first century of San Antonio, its existence as a city and what influenced it. So there will be portraits and narrative paintings. There will be devotional objects. Uh, I know they're very proud of this show, and it opens. It actually just opened, but I think the real public opening is really sort of happening now. So. And number one this week is Havel Ruck Projects in Houston. The title of the piece is Ripple. This is the Cherryhurst House in Montrose. So Dean Ruck and Dan Havel have been pairing together for years. They are most well known maybe for the Inversion House, which was Art League Houston. It was a house that had like a wooden vortex through the middle of it. Most recently they did a house called Sharp in Sharpstown where they put a copper colored hole in the middle of a just sort of suburban ranch house. Mm -hmm, that, was, that was going to be demolished. Yeah. That's, that's often what they've done is they've done these crazy interventions in structures that aren't going to last much longer. Right. And it's obviously Gordon Matta Clark is a huge influence. This is what they're up to. And every time it's a little bit different. This is maybe the most sort of decoratively aesthetic of any of the interventions they've done. It's very swirling and beautiful. Yes. And I'm, I think it's going to be fun. This weekend there's I think three days of events. Yeah, so Friday, Saturday, and Sunday there are public openings with barbecue and drinks and music. It's, and it's going to be totally fun. It's going to be a party. The weather in Houston is going to be warmer than it is in Dallas. So this is the thing in Houston this weekend. Don't miss Havel Ruck. All right, so stay dry if you're in DFW. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a trick. And mm -hmm. go, go see, see some, some art. art.